issues with sound energy is sound is vibration. It's the vibration of, um, mm -hmm. what we learned is sound is vibration. Sound energy is the movement of energy through a substance like water or air in the form of waves and those waves cause the vibration. Um, so we're going to make a talking cup and it's only just a few materials that you probably have laying around your classroom and it can be so exciting and fun for your kids. So I have, so what we need is string. I just have this kind of string. I have a cup, a solo cup. Um, I took a straw and I cut, cut it down small so that it would fit into my cup. You can use a paper clip. You can use other things that you can just wrap string around. Um, and then you need a wet paper towel. So I've already got a wet paper towel. So that is all that you're gonna need for this activity. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna just poke a hole in the bottom of it. I already did it with scissors, so I have a little bit of a hole, just a little hole, um, enough that the string can, just a little hole that's enough for the string to be able to um, go through it. So I'm gonna cut some string. Start off by doing maybe a foot or so. Don't go too short, don't go too long because that's something else that you can do with the um, activity later. Take your paper clip or your straw and just tie the string around it. I'm going to do it twice just so I can make sure that it stays. All right, and then you're going to take the string and you're going to put it in the cup so that the straw is going to go in the cup too. And you're just gonna push it down through the hole at the bottom. So you might have to help your students do this. I would cut the cups beforehand um, and let them choose the length of the string that they want. So inside the cup looks like that. And then you have your string coming out the bottom of it. And so this, the cup is gonna act as an amplifier to the vibration, to the sound. So the string, as you pull your, hand, your fingers down, you can kind of feel vibrations and you can hear it. So that's gonna help students understand that we can't see the vibrations, but we can hear them. So this is just gonna kind of help guide that. But what you wanna do is take a wet paper towel and kind of pinch the string up at the top, and then you're gonna go down the string. towels or you could use a dry paper towel, a dry paper towel. So I have some other ones that I already kind of made and I did ribbon so we'll be able to tell the difference between the ribbon and the string. Get that set up. All right, so I have the ribbon and the string. I'm gonna get it set up. All right, so set up the same exact way, but I'm just using ribbon. And if I just do it with just my fingers, can't really hear anything. But if I use that wet paper towel again, different noise and then you can do like a little paper clip and you can do a different um, length of string so I'm going to do the shorter length of string in this paper cup just to see if we can get a different a different noise out of it so that was a higher pitch so as you can see, different cups make different noises. You can have kids experiment with it. Um, but like I said, it's a really fun activity. Your kids are going to love it. 
And it's just, it's a great activity to teach vibration and kind of amplify it through the, the cup. So talking cups is definitely a winner in my classroom. So enjoy.